Hi, I'm uh, Magnus. I'm from a first year from Bristol and I'll be studying engineering sciences at Keeble. My name is Mariam. I am a third year engineering student at Keeble College and I study engineering science. I am an international student and I'm from Karachi, Pakistan. My name is Afron and I am a second year engineering student here at Keeble. For my first interview, I got about two or three uh, engineering maths questions and then a couple of like about me questions. So what's your favourite thing about engineering or why do you choose Oxford? I had two interviews. One was at Keeble because I applied to Keeble and then the second one was at a different college, but that college was just randomly assigned to me. In my Keeble interview, um, after the kind of questions about my personal statement and my A-level choices, things like that, um, I then had two main questions that we were working on. Um, like maths and physics based questions. So they were kind of two longer questions that took up the whole interview. We're not set any work in advance, but well, I wasn't. Um, so it was basically just you walked into the interview, you didn't know quite what the questions were going to be. I had two people interviewing me. Um, they were both really friendly, so basically just I came in, they tried to make me feel at ease and just kind of asked me some questions about my statement or my A-levels and then after that we moved into the maths and physics questions. In terms of into practice um, or like kind of keeping up to date with the content, um, I found I want to study engineering.org was a really good resource for um, engineering sort of like interview level questions and interview, interview style questions. Um, I would, so I'd recommend that. For preparing for an engineering interview specifically, I think the best way to do it is to just sort of talk your way through a maths and physics question that you would be solving for school. So if you were solving, like, let's say, a further maths question or an A-level maths question, um, then sort of as you're writing down the steps, just talk your way through the steps because in an interview, um, you'll be expected to sort of think aloud um, and talk the tutors through your process. Um, because as much, however intelligent they are, they can't exactly read your mind. So it's better to just say something and it'll then get you into the practice of actually doing it in the interview. I would definitely recommend um, trying to find somebody uh, to talk to about math and physics problems. Just talking about them out loud can be really useful. So if you can find somebody to do that with, that's great. But if you can't, just doing it to yourself in a mirror is also really helpful. Uh, maybe even try asking your teachers for a mock interview because I found that really useful. Um, as for practicing for the, st the style of questions that you'll be getting, um, basically try and stretch yourself beyond the kind of difficulty of questions you get at school. So um, a couple of really good resources for engineering would be the British Physics Olympiad. So they have some papers with some really good questions you can try. And also the Isaac Physics website. Well, before the interview, as you can imagine, I was incredibly nervous, you know, because I was an international student coming in and all, and you know, there was just a lot of, I had a lot of misconceptions about it and how difficult it was going to be. But as the interview went on, um, it, I actually felt a lot better about it because I trusted myself and I trusted the knowledge that I knew and had. Um, and I think the tutors are just there to help you. So um, just listen to them and try your best, however way that might be. So I was really nervous on the day, really, really nervous. Um, but I think just knowing that everybody else was really nervous too um, was kind of made me feel better about it. With the nerves aside, I actually quite enjoyed the process. So um, it was quite intimidating, but it's also a good glimpse into how tutorial systems here work. So I think one of the biggest myths are going to be is that the tutors just want to sort of trip you up a little bit, but I think that is the complete opposite of what is actually what's going to happen. Um, so the interviews are very difficult and they are a challenging experience, but I think if you just sort of take a deep breath, um, talk your way through the problems and try and um, just think aloud and say something, um, even if you think that might not necessarily be the correct answer. The one thing I found quite surprising was actually how short it was. So my interviews were both about half an hour long. 